Hello everyone, welcome to solve this algebra problem and here we have 2 to the power of n plus 4 to the power of n plus 8 to the power of n equals to 155 and we solve this problem for the real values of n. So here you remember one thing is that we find only real values. So uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as we have 2 to the power of n plus here you have 4 and we write it as 2 square and its whole power n plus we have 8 and we write it as 2 cubed and its whole power n equals to 155. So in the next step uh, we need to use the nice exponential law. So in uh, exponential law here we just interchange these two exponents. And we write it as 2 to the power of n plus 2 to the power of n and its whole square plus 2 to the power of n and its whole cubed equals to 155. So you see that we have 2 to the power of n present on each of the terms so that we take uh, y equals to 2 to the power of n. So when we take y2 to the power of n, we substitute this value to the above equation uh, so that our above equation will be written as y plus y square plus y cubed equals to 155. So here we first rearrange all these terms and we write it as y cubed plus y squared plus y and we move this 155 in the left hand side and we get minus 155 equals to 0. So uh, now in the next step here uh, we take little bit substitutions here so that in this equation we uh, substitute this y square equals to minus 5y square plus 6y square. We know that uh, minus 5 plus 6 equals to plus y square. Similarly, we substitute this y equals to, uh, we write this y as minus 30y plus 31y because minus 30 plus 31 equals to plus y and we write this 155 as 31 multiplied by 5 because 31 multiplied by 5 equals to 155. So that uh, we substitute these three values to these three terms and we write these three terms as uh, first we have y cubed we write it as it is and we have y square and we write uh, we put y square by minus 5 y square plus 6 y square and here you have plus y and we substitute it here minus 30y plus 31y and here we have minus 155 and we substitute it by this 31 multiplied by 5. So in the next step here we need some simplification and this all equals to 0. Uh, so uh, we need some simplification here. So first we take common uh, y square from first two terms. And here we take common y square and we get only y minus here we take common y square and we get minus 5 plus here we take common 6y and we get here y minus this will becomes minus 5 here we take common 31 and we get y minus 5 equals to 0. So now you see here uh, over each term uh, in, uh, include the factor y minus 5 so that we take common y minus 5 from each of these factors and we get here the y, here you get y square plus here when we take common y minus 5 you get 6y and here we take common y minus 5 and we get 31 equals to 0. So here we have uh, Two factors these are multiplied by each other so we convert this in two cases so our first case is we take y minus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we take y square plus 6y plus 31 equals to 0 so that we have these two cases in order to solve this problem so here first in first case we get the value of y equals to 5 and now uh, in the second case we first need to find the real values of y 
so in order to find the real values we first check this quadratic vein has real roots or not uh, so here we use the discriminant formula in order to check the roots of this equation so now first we write its uh, coefficients so its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 6 and c equals to 31 so these are the coefficients of this equation and uh, we have our delta equals to b square minus 4 times of ac this is the our delta and now we substitute the values of a b and c here and we get 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 31 so this will be equals to 36 minus 4 times of 31 uh, equals to 124 so when we subtract 36 by 124 uh, you must be get a negative answer so this is less than 0 if our delta is less than 0 it means that uh, over this equation cannot have real root so uh, here you gain no real root so if we get no real roots uh, so that we rejected this case because in this question we need only real roots so that we proceed here this case only and in this case we have y equals to 5 and now we back substitute this value of y so we know that our y equals to 2 to the power of n so we substitute uh, y equals to 2 to the power of n so that uh, it will be written as 2 to the power of n equals to 5. So now we further solve this equation and we get the value of y. We get the value of n sorry. So now in the next step first we copy down this equation here and we write it as 2 to the power of n equals to 5. So now in order to find the value of n we need to take the log on both of the sides of this equation so that uh, we will take log on both of the sides and we get the output in this form and now uh, we use the property of logarithm and we uh, move this exponent to the front of this log and we get n times of log 2 equals to log 5 so uh, now in the next step we move this log 2 to the right hand side and we get our n equals to log 5 divided by log 2. So here we use another property of log and using this property we write this whole term as log of base 2 and its exponent 5. So uh, this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos